Hey, what is happening, guys? We've been talking about transistors for the last couple days, and uh, I hope I haven't bored you too much on that. Before we get into another day of transistors, I just want to say one thing here. Thanks for all the tips on the uh, soldering station. You notice I got my uh, tip pointing up, my dick out of the dirt, so to speak. So I appreciate all that information you guys gave me on that. Now, we were talking about characterizing transistors and all the different measurements we can take and how to do it at home. Well, another thing that you might want to consider when building a project with transistors is matching your transistors. If you're going to do something, you know, that's going to take uh, multiple transistors of the same ilk, you can buy matched pairs, but you're going to pay for it. Man, you're going to pay for it. You can do the matching at home yourself, and I'm going to show you how. First, we need the transistors. Or as the Swedish chef would say, first you get the chicken. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. So, I've got my transistors. These are 2N2222s. We're not going to match all of these. I'm just going to show you how it goes. So, basically, we're going to do two we're going to look for two data points to match our transistors. And I had a pen like like 30 seconds ago. I had a pen. Oh, here it is. I'm losing my mind. So, what we want to know is the beta or the H F E and then we also want to know our V C or our collector voltage given those two things we can do a pretty good job of matching our transistors so if you have a transistor tester like this or you know any of the any of the transistor testers will be just fine go through all the transistors that you want to test and get the HFE on them get the beta these are all 2N2222 okay so this one has an HFE of 436 and I'm just going to put it down here in a piece of paper and write 436 on it. And then I'm going to do the next one. And you're going to go through your entire pile of LEDs that you want to test. So holy cow, another one at 436. You know what? That's like a miracle because even even out of the same batch they're often a little bit off I'm just spreading these pins a little bit to make it easier to get into my tester again 436 so for our purposes we'll just assume the, let me let me do one more so we got four of them we can assume that these are all gonna be 436. Just a little higher than I expected. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. All right. So if you don't have a transistor tester, fear not, because you can figure out the beta on your own. You just need to take a couple measurements. You need to know the VRB, which is the voltage across the base resistor and you're going to need to know the VRC which is the voltage across the collector resistor and you're saying resistors what resistors well the resistors in this circuit that we're going to get to in a minute so anyway once you know those two things you can calculate your base current which is VRB divided by RB and you can do your collector current, which is VRC, divided by RC. And finally, you can do your beta, which is collector current, divided by base current. The maths aren't that hard. Okay. 
So we're just going to assume that we've got our betas on all our transistors we're going to test. The next thing we want to do is bring them all to the same temperature. Now here is where you OCD anal folks are going to go crazy and start putting them on heat sinks and crap like that and that is absolutely perfectly fine if you need to do that to satisfy your needs go ahead and do it for our needs we're simply going to lay them out right here on this piece of paper under the desk in the conditions in which we'll be working and let them sit for about half an hour okay all right we're back in a half an hour go get a cup of coffee all right, so we've let our transistors come to a relatively stable room temperature. So next, we can bring in our circuit for testing them. Now here's the diagram for the circuit. Um, it's running off a simple uh, 10 volt uh, DC power supply. We have a 10K resistor, that's this guy right here, on our collector, a 1K resistor on the emitter, then I've set up a voltage divider here of a 220K resistor and a 22K resistor. And those are biasing me out to about 1.7 milliamp. So that will be our steady bias current. Now here is um, the one I set everything up with. We will not be testing that. Move this over here so we can get as much in the screen as possible. You're going to want to use a multimeter that has enough resolution for what you want. This one has 22,000 counts, which should work out okay. So I've got my ground here, and then I will hook up my collector. Now, this LED here, oops, didn't mean to bump the camera, pardonnez-moi. Is just to remind me that I've activated the circuit. It has nothing to do with the circuit whatsoever. So you can un ignore it. I can't talk. All right. You want to definitely keep your transistors labeled and in the same area. I mean, I'm only dealing with four of them here, so laying them on a piece of paper works out fine. If you have more, here's a little engineering hint that they don't teach you about in uh, graduate school. Ice cube trays. Yeah, just saying. Ice cube trays. Anyway. Also, if you want to be super picky about this, you don't want to touch these with your fingers. You want to touch them with plastic uh, tweezers or, uh, you know, whatever. They conduct heat very easily is the reason. So anyway, I'm getting to pull out this one. And we're going to put in number one. Remember, we've already tested the uh, HFE on all these guys. And let's see, I'll bring up the volts for collector voltage and power up the circuit. 6.64 is what I'm going to call it. 6.64. All right, then we'll bring in number two. Again, if you're doing this, you know, for something that really matters, don't touch that with your fingers. And 6.57, we'll call this one. 6.57. Number three. Six point five eight. No, oh, it's dropping a little bit. I'm gonna call it a six point five six. Six point five six. And our final one, numero cuatro. Number four. I'm going to settle there for a second. I don't know if you guys can even see that. There we go. 6.5, 6.54, we'll call it. 
6.54. All right, so real quick, here at home, we checked four transistors with matching betas, and as far as I'm concerned, that's a pair right there. 6.57, 6.56. And that's NPN transistor matching at home. Don't spend a lot of money on match transistor sets. You can do it yourself. It's not hard. Tell them Paul sent you. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you're working for NASA and you're a rocket surgeon, let them pay for the match sets. If you're doing this at home for fun, do it yourself. You learn a little something, you have a little fun. All right? That's all we're done. That's all we're talking about today. I'm done because I apparently have forgotten how to speak and have lost the ability to speak. So anyway, thanks for watching. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.